Well, hello. Whoops. Sticky, hoody things. Okay, anyway, we'll take care of that later. Um, so, I mentioned that I may put a fog bank in. It may be all mist. Uh, I wanted to stay away from distant hills. I, I wanted to keep this more simple. And I, I, I want to use a knife on this painting. Now, I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up, or if you can see it, but this is more or less not the horizon where the water meets the sky, but it is where the top of the light on the water will change. And I'll probably go a little bit higher than it is when we get back into the horizon. These two lines are two options for the underside of this cloud bank. Something in the foreground will likely end, the bottom of it would end here, the more distant stuff would end here. And underneath here would be sort of indeterminate uh, mixture of rain, moisture, what have you. The main thing is it would not be very important. This comes down, I like the idea of the sky opposing it and coming up. You know, this might be, this might contain a little bit of blue, a little bit of blue sky showing there, and then, and then a closer, darker cloud here, and, and, and maybe some light catching here. I think that given this will be, this is such a strong, meaty part of the painting, I think to oppose that strength, we can, we can afford to, to lift our light a little bit here. I haven't made, you know, I haven't drawn in too much. I'm, I'm really not concerned about it. I've been, frankly, really tired today, so I've done no painting. Um, and I could peck away in certain areas, but I don't want to. If I'm going to uh, hop into the sky, I want to commit as best as I can to finishing the sky, start to finish, do it, doing it in one go. I know I'm not going to be able to paint until tomorrow evening, and by then I might be pretty tired too. I have to attend a show tomorrow. There's a show in, uh, in uh, White Rock, British Columbia, up here in Canada, uh, that I'm participating in. It's a group show. There are a, just a little short of, a little under 40 artists uh, uh, contributing their work to the show. Uh, each one, will, each artist will have, you know, from, from what, one or two pieces to six pieces-ish. Um, it's sort of a pre-Christmas tradition at this gallery. Anyway, it's a great gallery, it's a lot of fun. Somebody had suggested that I do this, and I thought about it, but uh, I'm not going to take a camera. I'm not going to video uh, any parts of that. I find that uh, given I am one of the artists and given the setting that it's in, um, it's a pretty high-end gallery and uh, I think it would be very, it would be in poor taste for me to video anything. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, you can always go to the White Rock Gallery's website if you want to view, view uh, my work or other people's work there but you've seen actually I have on video all of the paintings that are going into that show anyway something like that always uh, involves a lot of talking to people something I'm not used to for 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 hours on end you know whoops so, okay so my hair is in terrible shape I'm, I'm so concerned about my hair so tomorrow all I'm going to do is get up, get showered, get cleaned up, get shaved. You know, that's going to take probably three or four hours anyway, as you can see, to, to tidy up. And then I'm going to drive out there. It's about an hour and a quarter, hour and a half from where I live. And, uh, and then spend the afternoon talking with people and, uh, and then come home. And by then... My jaw will probably be tired, and my brain will probably be tired, and I'll probably be lazy. So, not likely, you know, you never know. Sometimes I get a second wind and I just go for it, but I wouldn't count on, on, on video tomorrow. Anyway, I'm happy with this so far. It's basic, uh, but yeah, today I've been just beat. I think I, I went Betty by a little too late last night. 
Thanks for watching, guys, and we will talk to you soon.